All right, so we've, we've just had a really good roundup of the state of the art of motion capture right now. But I'm gonna take just a little bit of time to talk about what's coming up. And uh, it's gonna be cool. There are three different things that we're gonna talk about that aren't ready for prime time yet, but they're, they're coming, and they're coming fast. So, first of all, real-time technology. Second of all, removing all the accoutrements of motion capture, right? All this dots and helmet cameras and spandex suits. We're gonna see if we can't get rid of that. And then finally, taking it all away, coming up with new ways of transferring performances from one character to another. Now, digital domain, we've had a long history of doing this. We started with the curious case of Benjamin Button, we did Tron, we did Maleficent, we just did Beauty and the Beast, and my colleague, Darren Hendler and I, who's here's here tonight, he's gonna come up and talk with us during the um, uh, discussion section coming up. He and I have, over the last year, been saying, you know, we're, we're getting pretty good at this motion capture stuff. I wonder if we can do it in real time. I wonder if we can take an actor's performance and transfer it onto a digital character almost in immediately, and so accurately that it's getting hard to tell the difference between an actor and their digital double. Now, we're not the only ones that are doing this. This is active research, and in fact, uh, the guys over at Epic Games, of course, this is sort of a gaming kind of thing as well, combined with three lateral and cubic motion are doing some cool things. And so I put this piece together here of some of the latest research and the results that people are getting. Hello, I'm Siren, and I'm a digital human. I was created by an international team of artists and engineers who wanted to challenge our ideas of what a synthetic human could be. We start by capturing my face at the highest pore level resolution. We even measure how the blood flows in my face as I make different expressions. We have built a system that uses a variety of machine learning techniques to figure out exactly how the face moves. <laughs> and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out. Out! Brief candle! <laughs> Now, just to be clear, that last thing of Andy Serkis, both of those were digital, right? The one on the, the left was a digital version of Andy Serkis. And you'll notice when you saw me and, and the woman, we weren't wearing dots on our face, and all of this was happening in real time. This is all due to some really cool algorithms that we're developing, and also some advances in computers, right? The graphics cards in your computers are getting really powerful nowadays, and you can get that kind of rendering in real time. But also, can we, can we get rid of all the markers? Can we get rid of everything? Can we do all that? Well, the guys at Carnegie Mellon are doing some amazing research. This is brand new. It's really hot out of the oven. And you can see a, a, a grad student here walking around being filmed by a single camera, not wearing anything, but look at this, we're figuring out how his skeleton is moving, how his face is moving, they're tracking his face, and even tracking the fingers with a single camera. So just think about this as we transfer this onto movie sets. We'll just have a camera watching you, and we'll be able to replace you with whatever we want to. It's a, it's a new tool, no markers, no helmets, no nothing. We could do it after the fact. All right. Those algorithms I'm talking about, it's basically machine learning. You can't have not heard this term over the last five years. It's what's powering Google and Facebook and all these kind of things. Google is predicting your next search using machine learning. And we're taking those same algorithms and putting them into visual effects. Now, they asked me to tell you what machine learning was in like two sentences. And I'm not gonna be able to do that, but I have to tell you a little bit about how it works. So, Think about how we'd move the face. You could think about doing this with physics and you could figure out how blood moves and how the muscles move and how the skin moves on top of that and you could do it with a whole bunch of physics. 
Or you could capture the face over and over again in all its possible expressions. Like what I've been doing, right? I've been sitting there going onto the motion capture stage, moving my face all over the place. And we take that data and start teaching this algorithm. We basically say, if these dots or this face moves in this image, we know that my face should look like this. And we do this for the next image, and my face should look like this. And we're teaching the algorithm. It really is learning something, telling the computer how to learn. And if we do this enough, where enough is millions of times, we keep showing the algorithm pictures of me and what my face should look like, the algorithm eventually adjusts so that it can look at an arbitrary picture of me and produce my face. So that, in a nutshell, is kind of what machine learning is. And it's coming to movies. And in fact, the next thing I'm going to show you is some of the coolest technology out there. You may have seen some of this stuff. This is, this is permeated around. But we're starting to look at this in terms of visual effects. And it is awesome. It is so cool. So I'm just going to shut up and let you watch and figure out what's going on here. Hello. I'm Doug Rubble, and I'm the director of Software R&D at Digital Domain. And right now, we're experimenting with some really cool machine learning technology. What we're trying to do is take my image and use it to control the face of somebody else in real time. So this is, this is really exciting. Awesome. So Doug and Darren have asked me to stand in front of a camera, which I never do, and talk about something. I have no idea what to talk about. I'm going to talk about the fires that are going on that are super crazy. Like, I drove my motorcycle through the inferno. It, it was nuts. I, I felt the heat on my jacket, and now my helmet smells like campfire. So that, by the way, is Darren Hendler on the left-hand side. And, and the crazy thing about that is that's happening in real time. I'm pointing a camera at Vicky, and it's basically running well, it's around 20 frames a second. With 30 frames a second, we can do it, and it's OK. Um, and the setup for this was insane. All I did was ask Vicky and Darren to stand in front of a whiteboard and tell me a story for two minutes. Just. Tell me something. Make your face move for two minutes. And I filmed them. Then I sent it off to the computer and used that data right, to train the computer. When it sees Vicky's face, it now draws Darren's face in the same shape. It's learned how to look at Vicky and draw Darren. And when it draws Darren, it looks like Darren. It's, it's, it's photo real. There's nothing in between. There's no animators. There's no processing. It's all happening real time. So I know we're heading into the discussion section. Hopefully, I've given you a little bit of stuff to discuss. Uh, it should be fun. Thank you very much.